Hi guys, Chris O'Neill from Brotherwise Games. I'm here to show off the early production copy of Dungeon Cart. This is sent to us by the factory to make sure everything looks great. After this, the game will go into full production. We're feeling really good about our scheduling here, uh, but when we look inside here, we may see some things we wanna change, uh, but overall we're hoping to see uh, the fantastic game that you're gonna be getting in a few months. So we've got the box. It's a big boy. Uh, it's heavy. I don't know, this feels like, you know, maybe nine or 10 pounds. Uh, we've got the box back there, beautiful box back. I'm gonna open it now and sort of set things off to the side as we get them. Look at that, that's huge. There's the dungeon cart box. I'll put that right over there in front of Zeph and Kaladin. This is the gold edition sticker that'll be on the box if you've got the gold edition of the game. It's printed on this really kind of nice shiny foil. Uh, okay, right on top, we've got the rule sets for the expansion. So if you bought uh, the silver tier and the gold tier or either of those, these will come with those. The silver tier includes the icy peaks. Uh, those are sort of explained there. A couple new bosses. Uh, the gold tier, I think, uh, or I might have this backwards, uh, has the void tiles, uh, kind of racing in space. A lot of fun there. These are kind of on a nice heavy card stock, so they're very easy to uh, uh, handle. This game is a big game, and it's actually got two rule books. In the main rule book, we've got the how to play. All of this includes how to set up the game, what to do during your move. Uh, but then we've also got this racing guide, tells you how to assemble some of the parts that require assembly. And it's got special details on each component of the game. There's the heroes that it talks about, the epic heroes. Uh, we've got uh, more on the hazards that are in the game. This, think of it as a very extended FAQ, covers everything you need to know about Dungeon Cart. If you got the gold tier, we've got this dry erase board. I'm hoping somewhere in here will be more components. The factory let me know that they didn't send this one with uh, the hanging uh, string, but it will come with strings so you can hang it on your wall and keep track of all your races and keep track of who's in the pole position on each race. Uh, we got a lot of punch board here. This is all punch. We've got carts in there. We've got cart stands. Uh, we've got tokens. We've got hazards, all kinds of stuff in there. Hopefully in here are some grommets uh, so that we can assemble one of these awesome, um, these look like grommets. I don't have my glasses with me, so we're gonna have to see if I can do this without glasses. But with the grommets, you'll assemble each of the uh, dashboards. That looks right. So let's pull out this one, the centipede crawler. Uh, and then we need to find uh, a throttle stick here. There's some of those. I'm gonna pull, punch that out. These come separately. Punch out that little bit there. Lay it right on top. Put your thicker grommet through the back. Thread those through so that uh, they're nice and tightly aligned. And then push the thinner grommet all the way through. And this does require a little bit of force. You wanna hear it click. And then we get this really nice holding it in place so that our dashboards there don't slide when we're holding them up. And that's important because we also have included these little dashboard stands so that it, if, and you don't have to do this, but if you wanna play with your dashboard up like a real dashboard, you can. It'll hold like that, and this guy will go back and forth. On the back of it, it shows the speed setting you're at and shows your special abilities so your opponents can keep track of what's going on. We've got these fun little coin tokens, all kinds of fun hazard tokens here. Overall, it's a super tactile game, lots of neat stuff to hold on to, pick up, and play with. Um, inside of here, and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna push some of this stuff off to the side here. Inside, we've also got an inner storage uh, bin. And that inner storage bin holds all of the tiles. And man, look at all these tiles you're getting if you ordered the base game and both expansions. Each of these is double-sided. You're gonna be able to play infinite numbers of track combinations with these. And look how pretty they came out. They just look gorgeous. 
They're nice and big. It's a table hog to be sure, but it's worth it. You want to have that big uh, cart style race on your tabletop, and this is going to do it for you. Again, love this insert they did. These guys go right in there. This big uh, little cavity here is to hold your uh, dashboards. So they'll go in, they'll store upright, and then you can even put uh, those guys off to the side. So you get everything in there and it's held onto really well. On top of that comes this pull apart token board. That guy slides right in the top and has its own lid to keep things nice and snug in there. We've got the dice that you need for the Smashinator and for the, um, the boost uh, hazards. Those dice are nice screen printed, pretty beautiful acrylic dice. Uh, we've got, ooh, this is something I don't think we told you guys about. I, I can't remember if we did or not. Each player has their own uh, player guide that has hazard effects on one side, cart abilities and the round and turn structure on the other side. That's really fun. Uh, we've got all of these cards that are coming here and this lovely little card bin to hold them. Um, that should be size for sleeve cards. I'm hoping the factory did that right. It looks about right to me. There's a little bit of gap on either side of those. Should be just enough. The boss cards themselves, this is where you get to take on your identity as a racer. They came printed on these lovely little cards that have uh, those are your boss special abilities on them. This is one of the extras from one of the expansions, but in total, there are a ton of bosses to choose from. Each card is unique, each boss is unique. You combine those, you get infinite combinations of what you wanna do. Uh, it will come with a uh, dry erase pen, little sticker so you can stick it on the bottom of your board. It comes with this gorgeous token bag. It's a big, wide bag. I really like that, really easy to get into and that beautiful dungeon cart logo on it, and the pull tight. This is one of the nicer bags I've seen in a while. It's made out of uh, sort of a canvas material, and that it feels almost like a, a heat transfer or an iron-on decal on there. Really pretty. And then of course, the racers. So the racers are all in acrylic, and they're gonna come unassembled, uh, and you might even have to punch them out. I think they pre-punched these for me. But each of these racers has this beautiful double-sided printing so that you can see exactly what your racer looks like. And then the bases have their names on them. Uh, that's the ghost cart. This is something I don't know if we shared with you guys or not, but the ghost cart uh, is kind of fun because it lets you keep track of where you are. Oh, there's probably a, there's probably a thing on here that's keeping me. Each of these comes coated with a little plastic coating to protect them during shipping. You gotta pull that off before you assemble them. So, but beautiful stuff there. There's the big old Porcus, the big giant guy, love him. So, that's it. Um, all kinds of fun stuff for play in there. We're gonna be sending this back to the factory with any notes we have, although I have to tell you, it's looking pretty great. I don't know that I'm gonna have a ton of notes here. Uh, and um, we will follow up in a couple months with some shipping updates. This one's not scheduled to ship till August, I think. Uh, and so we need to get it over here to the States. And then we'll talk to you guys about getting out to. Thanks again to all our backers. We're really excited about this one. Uh, it's a ton of fun for a casual fun racing game night with a lot of friends. This one plays up to eight players, 10 plus. So very accessible. Get a lot of people at the table. Thanks again and take care.